This video will demonstrate how to create a multiple choice quiz in a Moodle course. Once you've logged into Moodle and you've selected the course you'd like to work in and you've turned the editing on, find the Add Activity drop down menu that corresponds with a week or topic you would like to add the quiz to. I would like to add a quiz to week 2, so I'll click on the Add an Activity drop down menu for that week and click Quiz. Give the quiz a name. I'll call it Quiz 4. When would you like your students to begin taking the quiz? Set the open the quiz date here. When is the due date for the quiz? Set the close date here by unchecking the disable box. For this purpose, I won't set any dates. To set a time limit for the quiz, click enable, and then you can enter the time limit here. To shuffle your questions or to shuffle the answers within your questions, change these no's here to yeses. This is very important. For attempts allowed, by default, your students will be able to take the quiz an unlimited amount of times. I'll change this to one so that they can only take it once. Click save and return to course. There are various other quiz settings that you may play around with. I'll create a separate video about those. The purpose of this video is how to add multiple choice questions to the quiz. So let's click on the quiz and go ahead and do that. This is the question bank on the right side of the screen. It's important that we change the category to the category for the quiz that we just created. So I named my quiz Q4, so default for Q4 will be the category that I'll choose. For the Create a New Question drop-down menu, click Multiple Choice. We need to give each question a name. I name the questions the number that they are, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. But if something works better for you, by all means you may name your questions whatever you'd like. In this larger HTML box, this is where you'll enter your actual question. In the answer field for each choice, that's where you'll enter the possible answers or all of the answer choices. I've already asked this question before in another demo and the computer remembers my possible answers. That's why they're coming up here. Oh, well, that's kind of handy. For the correct answer, for the grade, I'll change that to 100% so that the student receives full credit for marking that answer. For the incorrect answers, I'll leave the grade as none, unless you would like the student to receive partial credit for that answer choice, then you can change it accordingly. Click Save Changes. Now you have one question in your question bank. Let's add one more multiple choice, question number two, For the correct answer, we'll change that to 100%. Now if you needed more answer choices, you can just click blanks for three more choices and then you would get the opportunity to be able to add eight possible answers. And you can click on you can keep on clicking for more if you need them. Then click save changes. Now I have two questions in my question bank. To move them over into my actual quiz, I'll click on the Action checkbox and then click Add to Quiz, and now they move over to the left side of the screen. If I click on Preview, I can see what my quiz looks like. 
I'll make my answer choices and click submit all and finish and then I can see that I have a hundred percent. Now if you would like to give the students feedback for a wrong answer you can do that by entering the feedback in the box below the actual answer choice. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So I'll go to default for Q4 to be able to see my two questions. If I click on this pencil icon, the edit icon, I'll be able to edit my question. Right here in this box is where I can type some feedback. So for the correct answer I can put good job. For the incorrect answer I can type whatever I would like the student to be able to see to help them out to guide them towards the right answer or however you would like to do it. The feedback field isn't required but I just wanted to let you know about that as well. So this is what a multiple choice quiz looks like. And thank you for watching.